and just hearing the hit on this poor girl, Ooh. it was mind blowing. I, I stopped running. I waited for the girl to get up because I didn't think she was hearing because it was right in her like stomach area where she got hit. And then she finally started to breathe. And then like minutes later, she just went off because it hurt so much, but I couldn't believe it. I'm like, those hits are so hard. I would like, I'd be on the ground just laying there, not being able to move. Well, folks, you've probably been following the Ash Davis story. He's that man who is out in Fergus, Ontario, playing with the Highlanders' female rugby team. Yes, that's right. He's a biological man playing with and against biological woman. And that goes contrary to world rugby guidelines for obvious reasons, safety and sportsmanship, to name just a couple. We have finally found a brave rugby player to step forward and blow the whistle on this ongoing fiasco. And better yet, she used to be a member until early July of the Fergus Highlanders rugby team. And her name is Mallory Petrie, and she joins me right now. Mallory, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And thank you so much for taking the time, uh, basically, to stand up for what's right. Mallory, um, we spoke off camera. You told me that uh, you love the sport of rugby. Uh, you wanted to play the whole season through. But one of the big reasons you quit the team back in uh, mid-July, I guess it was, was the fact that this circus sideshow was going on in terms of the Fergus women's team. Here's the deal. As I said in the preamble, Mallory, um, female and male sports, twas ever thus they were divided down gender lines, with some exceptions like horse racing or auto uh, racing. But... What is it about the people in Fergus or in Fergus rugby that they seem to have absolutely no problem with a biological male competing against biological females and routinely injuring them in the process? I'm not too sure. I don't understand it whatsoever because it really shouldn't be happening. And it seems majority of the people on the Fergus team allow it, accept it, and think it's okay when it's not. Here's the thing, Mallory. When I went into that assignment, that's going back to July 22nd, you were already off the team. Uh, I was never prepared for how rattled I was going to be. And it had nothing to do with the F-bombs and the middle fingers and even the physical assaults I endured that day. It was the fact that these women on the Fergus team seemed so indoctrinated that they would support a man pretending to be a female, I don't know, in the, in the name of diversity, equity, and inclusion. To me, you support a guy like that injuring real woman, Mallory. This is support for misogyny. What are your thoughts? I don't support it at all, and I just... I don't understand how they were so like watching when you went over there on the news. I don't know how they were so supportive of that. It just blows my mind. Myself and a few others just want to play the sport. We shouldn't have to be kicked off the team or basically threatened about what we say to not play. It's just crazy. Yeah, 34, 21. Yes, oh, okay. hey, Mr. Davis. Ash, why are you doing this? I'm David Menzies, no. Rebel News. Hi. Uh, no, you're not really uh, a part of this. We're human rights. What about the human rights human of biological rights. women being human injured by this man? As a mother, why would you expose your uh, kids to because a misogyny? that is my partner. That, that is my wife that you are being So Sorry, he's a lesbian? It's not a sport. Or it's not, it's not an issue. I'm a registered social worker, sir, and I demand oh. human rights for everybody. Oh, okay. They just... Yeah, what's a biological female? How do you feel about a biological male playing in rugby now? Thank you! I don't really give a f Everybody! Really? Okay. <laughs> when you observed Ash Davis play, when you practiced with him, when you're on the team, Mallory, and when you saw him compete, 
against other teams. I remember back in June, so you still would have been on the team. There was <clears throat> a game against um, the Stony Creek Camels. And at least three women were really injured uh, by this individual. They were quoted in the popular press as saying it was like getting hit by a truck. So I'm a forward uh, along with him. And I remember running. He got the tackle, but I was running close by. And just hearing the hit on this poor girl, Ooh. it was mind blowing. I, I stopped running. I waited for the girl to get up because I didn't think she was hearing because it was right in her like stomach area where she got hit, hearing how hard it was. And then her, how would she have done it? She didn't really breathe for like a second. Like she's like, huh. and then like it waited because she got hit so hard. And then she finally started to breathe. And then like minutes later, she just went off because it hurt so much, but I couldn't believe it. I'm like, those hits are so hard. I would like, I'd be on the ground just, laying there not being able to move did anyone ever come up to him and ask him these questions that you know hey dude last year on the men's team you were voted the hardest hitter and now you're playing with females why no one asked him and i thought that was absolutely crazy seeing that you post that the other day of how he was the hardest hitter i know someone who was on the men's team last year he didn't play this year and he was on the men's team last year and i was talking to him about ash and he said he's a very good player on the men's team and that just that speaks a lot if you're a good player on the men's team you are crushing it on the girls team just do you think mallory i mean we can't know for certain we're not psychiatrists but is there a maybe a a current of mental illness here. His allies are so supportive of trans women or real women that they assume this is simply a man that's transitioned to a, into a woman, even though he's got all his male parts, as far as I can tell. But how do we know there isn't mental illness at play here? How do we know this isn't a man with nefarious intentions gaming the system, deciding for whatever reason, maybe as a prank, that he's going to pretend to be a woman and get away with uh, hurting other women. Do you have any thoughts on those uh, points, Mallory? There, in my eyes, there kind of has to be some mental health issues there, which a lot of people have, which is fine. But I really don't know what goes through his head thinking that it's okay to be on the woman's team. I really have no idea. I've never asked him. He's never told us. I, I honestly have no idea why. And he's getting away with it. And, and in a way, Mallory, I got to ask, who do we have more contempt for? The fact that this man has the chutzpah to play against biological females and hurt them on a routine basis, or the powers that be, and I'm talking about Rugby Canada, Rugby Ontario, heck, even the Ontario Minister of Sport, that would be Neil Lumsden. Neil Lumsden is a former professional football player he won four gray cups surely he knows the inherent dangers of males playing against females in a contact sport and yet no one's saying anything in fact the province recently awarded rugby ontario with a one hundred and fifty thousand dollar grant and one of the provisos was diversity equity and inclusion mallory this is insane to me I totally agree. And I don't know when it's going to come to an end. I don't know if these males that are playing need to injure a thousand people for this world to open up their eyes. I don't know. Mallory, tell us about you and your rugby career. I, I'm sure it was a little heartbreaking that you had to leave a, a sport you love in mid-season. But um, are you thinking of going back next season? Thinking maybe of joining another team, perhaps? Uh, what's in the cards for you? I'm not too sure. I haven't played too much of my life. I only started in grade 11 high school, played for my two years. Then last year I played in Stratford where I used to live, but there really wasn't a team because we couldn't get much girls. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is perfect playing in Fergus because there is a team. I don't know my plans next year. I probably just won't. It kind of ruined it this year for me a lot, but I do have like I play baseball, so I was like, I'll just be content with just baseball then next year. Just 
because I don't want to run into this situation again. I didn't really enjoy coming to any of my games or practices this year. Yeah, that, that's a shame, Mallory. And, and, and you know, uh, even if you never go back to rugby, the, the, the fact remains, Ash Davis being on that roster, that means there was a female player who is not on the roster because he's taken that space, right? Yeah, I was actually a little upset the one game because he got more playing time than me, which he is a better player, but he should not be on the team. So I should have got that playing time. But Are you afraid that the usual suspects are going to say, oh, Mallory Petrie, she's a transphobe. She's a this, she's a that, she's a hater, a bigot, because she is against a biological male um, playing with biological females and injuring them. What, do you, what are your thoughts, Mallory? I am pretty afraid, but I feel that I shouldn't be. I'm yeah. purely just talking about a male playing on the women's team. It has nothing to do with him. It's just the fact that he should not be on the team. He was very nice from what I talked to him. I didn't really talk too much, but I'm sure there's going to be people bashing me on the internet, which is fine. I can take that because they are very strongly opinionated, but I really hope there's some people that see it on my point of view and agree with me on this. Well, Mallory, you are very brave. You are a lioness. I really appreciate your time. And please stay in touch if you learn of any further developments. And all I got to say to the likes of Miles Spencer, the CEO of Ontario Rugby, and the Minister of Sport, uh, Neil Lumsden, uh, hey, guys, have a scintilla of courage that Mallory Petrie has. In other words, I think I'm telling you two guys to, well, grow a set already. Thanks so much, Mallory. No problem. Thank you. If you like cruising already, this is truly something unique. And if you've never been on a cruise, this is the perfect way to start with a group of like-minded folks from coast to coast. You can find out all of the details on different cabins at rebelnewscruise.com. That's rebelnewscruise.com. I know you'll look back on it as a vacation of a lifetime. All aboard. We have reserved a limited number of Rebel News cabins. So book yours today at rebelnewscruise.com.